Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. This is the Silverblood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Hello, friend. The Silverbloods run nearly all the lands in this hold, as well as the local inn. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. My father, Klepper, is How the one you want to talk to. your coming, son? I just clean up. I've been cleaning up spills, and there is fresh linen for the rooms. Aren't you wonderful? Why can't your father be more like you and your sister? Are you going to walk over to father and start hitting him again? No, not right now. Maybe later, if I'm still upset. Don't mind the yelling. My parents are always going at each other. My mother and father yell a lot. Another always drink, Koznak. A porter with Arnleaf and Sons deserves nothing but the finest here. All your drinks are <clears throat> clever. You aren't fooling. And you know Lisbeth can't afford to pay me. Unlike my husband, Cutler, I watch a Frank. Why do you and Mother fight so much? We don't fight, son. We, um, talk loudly. Will I need to talk so loudly for my wife to recognize me? To Bella's heart, son, I hope not. Isn't my son Rayan such a good worker? Not like his father at all. Check the shipments, Lisbeth. Says, there are no shipments, I says. Keep those hands up. Fair fight. Here you are. Wanna talk to tonight, Alton? I just clean up. Everyone here is anxious to hear the old ballads performed by the true skull of the leech. Son, I know thousands of the old ballads. If I played all of them, Everyone in this inn would be as gray as I am before I finished. Uh, right. Maybe just one of the popular songs, like The Slaying of the Former Princes. That's a sensible lad. Now fetch me a drink. I'll bend Klepper's ear if there's anything wrong with a room you rent. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. You, anything right. you were just standing there when you were supposed to be serving drinks to our customers. I am your better half. And your better half is Remember, telling you to stop being is an idiot and serve the customers out. their drinks. If I can't get you something, I'm sure my wife will bellow at me until I can. You come right to me if you find an unwashed floor or a lumpy bed. Songs. Are just old memories that help the me go down quicker. Today I've cleaned the linens, washed the floors, and checked in on all our guests. Ah, my son. You'll be a fine innkeeper someday, like your father. But mother says you're a terrible innkeeper. Never mind your mother, Ren. You listen to me, and you'll be a great man one day. All the wood furniture in this inn is rotten to the core. Do you know why that is, Clever? I don't know, my darling wife. I assume you're going to tell me. It's rotten because the wood is cheap and it's soaked with ale. Now we'll have to replace all the furniture before bugs set in. Don't worry, my love. Just show the bugs your adoring face, and they'll scurry away in complete fear in no time. You're an idiot, Clever. Why did I ever marry you? Not a day goes by I don't ask that question myself, my dear. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markar. How did you manage to cripple yourself to gain? Mining accident back when I was in prison for being a pickpocket. You're lying. You're not quick enough to be a pickpocket. What's the real reason? Fell off the top of the cliff after a drunken party with the priestesses of Dibella. I don't buy that story either. Too bad. That one's my favorite. What should we have tonight? Something simple. A uh, stew, perhaps. Stew again, Papa? I want steak. Oh, maybe we could spend a little bit more and buy some meat, Andrew. Maybe. Let me think about it. <sighs> my father is more generous than he lets on. Gives me plenty of spending money. Kira, do you have anything exotic? Something no other woman in Markarth would be wearing. 
I do have one set of bracelets in a style that is popular with the nobility in Sentinel. Sentinel? That's in Hammerfell, correct? The bloodiest you say these bracelets the are only worn by the nobility? They are popular with the nobility there, yes. This particular bracelet is a copy of one worn by a crown princess. Hmm. Maybe in a few seasons I could afford such a treasure. Frobby, our customer needs a drink. Too lazy to give him a drink yourself. Oh. You want a drink? I should remind Clepper to clean this place up. Markarth has changed, but the inn is as lively as ever. Ah, the city hasn't changed that much, dear. Same old dwarven stones gathering the same old moss. The stones aren't what bother me, love. The Forsworn are tearing the Reach apart. Let's not talk about this over dinner. Ugh, another foul day at the smelter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been working with you for over ten years, and all you have to say is... Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think we deserve these miserable lives of ours. We sold all those lovely little necklaces you brought me today. Did you make them yourself? That's right. Papa helped me with the clasps. But I did all the links on my own. Adara bends the silver so naturally. Give us a coin, Kozniak. We'll spend it on cheap ale anyway. Like you won't do different? I'm a cripple. I have a reason to be drinking. And I'm a porter with no shipments coming in. You're not getting any coin from me to gain. I've seen every corner of Skyrim, but nothing is as beautiful as the battlefield. Every That's piece. about the truth of it. Write tales about the sights I've seen, the battles I've fought. Earned quite a name for myself when I was younger. The Bard's College still teaches some of my work to their students. Unlike my husband, Clepper, I watch after our guests. What was that you said, venomous wife of mine? Nothing, you pig-headed oaf.